Huh? What's that? What is that? Oh, it's that eating prick. I'm doing this post-commentary, like the next section. We don't have to be careful. Oh, right. We need to wait for Grandma to walk in. Oh, no. Don't you do that. I take my eyes off you for one second, and off you run like this. <gasps> oh, no, no, no. You ate these poker snacks, didn't you? Oh, you naughty child. You fat fuck. Haven't I told you harshly enough to never touch what doesn't belong to you? Oh, you little f obese fuck. I don't know. The poker snacks that were here, were they yours? I am so sorry. I'll replace all the poker snacks you've lost. I lost one. She gave me ten. Thanks. And it's not much, but here's something for your trouble. Wait, that means that I didn't have to... That means I didn't have to buy poker snacks. Could just wait for Munchlax to show up. You see, I'm a herbalist. I was retired, but I got the urge again to carry on as before. And so I've been traveling all over, collecting ingredients for my trade. I'm terribly sorry to have caused you trouble. I will talk sense to this glutton, so please accept my apology. Won't work. Here, you apologize too. Won't work. We that hey, you can just apologize and not be so smug about it. I sell my wares upstairs at the Pokemon Mart in Gateon Port. Oh, that's where you are. Ah, well, if you visit Gateon Port, please come and see us. Now, please excuse us. I uh, won't, cause I'll I'll forget it after I recorded that this section. Anyway, two bonds sly. Oh, isn't that the Pokemon from the ship? Careful. Careful. Careful, or we'll run away. Me from the past, because this is post commentary. Alrighty then. Captured Bond's lie. Let's return it to its owner. Hopefully I can read fast enough. Shadow, not now. I'm trying to read. Yo, Michael, it just figures it would take you to find that lost Bond's sly. Don't worry, bet I got it. Ah, man, I was too fast. We collected data using ONBS's resources, but we couldn't find a trace of it. Well, main character and all. We sincerely appreciate what you've done for us. My granddaughter and Bonsai are overjoyed to see for yourself. Yay, thank you. I believe in you. Good. Wonderful. This is something that stands for our gratitude. Please accept it. While we wait for me to press A. A Bonsai card. I will be using that in the future, don't you worry about that one. It's a special battle bingo card, you see? You can use it for the battle bingo games at the Real Gum Tower. And I will, when I remember it. It's an event that's not open to everyone. Oh no, the receptionist will know what to do if you flash that card at the registration counter. I'm sure you'll enjoy battling with Bonsly. Thank you again. We must be leaving now. And that's it. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to more Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. My goodness, I haven't been here in so long. It has absolutely been so long. I last time I ended it was the week before. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth came out. And now it is two months, technically, after uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth has been out. Yeah. Uh, for the whole of April, I played Final Fantasy VII, uh, March, actually. I played Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. And for the whole of April, I was sick. I was sick. Oh my god, I'm still not fully recovered, but I'm like 95 to 99% there. Anyway, I did some stuff. Let me show it off. Hop it. 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 And finally, hop it. I did it, people. I have caught all hop it. I have done it. That's uh, so yeah. What I've also done is I grinded up the team. Good news, people. Good news. Throughout. But yeah. 
I grinded up the team. Everyone's to 35 except Dragonfly who needs to... When Dragonfly levels up, she will become Vibrava and learn Dragon Breath. And I'm not gonna skip on that one. And Flyer's obviously level 36. But yeah, also another... Like, what I did last week was... I, last week I had the whole content week for, like, APR channel. I did, like, 15 reviews. Plus, like, a bunch of other videos. I... Saturday, I spent... Six hours, that was it. Something like between five or six hours on like a Knuckles review. That is recording it, editing it, uploading it, and it didn't get any views. Fuck me. That's what you're doing, you know, that's what you do it for. <laughs> that, that is a bit of a disappointment though, but... Oh well, you can't expect growth this early on, but I was expecting at least a couple. You know, more than like five. What is that right now? Yeah, but I spent uh, that week just recording a lot of stuff. I got, like, reviews technically done until, like, June. The end of June. And, uh, not edited yet, but I can edit them while I'm sick. So, in case I get sick again, I still have content until the end of June, at the very least. However, I do need to beat this game. And what we're gonna start with is the pre-gem. Hi, Mikhail. And on your arm, I see a snack machine. You got it back. That's where it belongs to. It's like a bat to a baseball player. The snack machine is a part of you, Mikhail. Okay, cool. And how do I challenge this fucking pre... Wait, I can say it again. I'm free! I don't have to censor myself. Oh, that was so liberating. Welcome to the prestige precept center or the pre-gym. Uh, okay. How do you begin? No, 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 don't go down there, you fucking get it. How do you start this stupid shit? It ain't down there. I'm lost. I wanted to do pre-gym. But I, I thought maybe it was talking to Big Boss Man himself. It's like going over here and pressing A or some shit like that. How the fuck do I... <sighs> I don't like this whole confusing crap. Can I not do the pre-gym yet? Yeah, I am here to take the fucking pre-gym challenge. Why? Why doesn't it fucking work? I don't see anything. Alright, so this person just basically fucked off, came back, and uh, got to do the challenge. So we'll do that. He didn't. He doesn't even have the snack machine. You remember my email, right? The pre-gym is finally going to reopen. Mikhail, I would love to have a battle with you. Will you accept me? Challenge. Oh, yes, I will. At pre-gym, four trainers and I await all challenges. First, you're required to take on the four trainers in knockout matches. You have to beat all four of them in a row. Great, let's do it. Let's get you up onto the stage. I'll get healed in between, right? Looks like you're all set. Let's get started. Okay, let's bring out the first trainer. Let me be the first to entertain you. Oh god, we got an entertainer. Thought these were gonna be Pokemon battles. But man, I've been grinding at that stupid Pyrite uh, Coliseum. That's where I've been grinding the whole time. It was so annoying, but I was sick, so I could do it. Also, also, I almost forgot. Almost forgot because of this whole PGM nonsense. I almost forgot. Would I have done something else? I have done something else, my people. Because I was sick, I was like, you know what? I'm I'm bored out of my I'm out of my skull. I need to do something. So I was like, you know what? Let me just re-record like something that's gonna happen in the future. Potentially start when this whole crap is done. In October, potentially. This is a good start in October? But it could also start later. It depends on what comes out during that time. Because that's kind of like where I am kind of iffy on things. Wait, does that stupid Trapinch still have the... Oh, boy. Trapinch still has you. How dare you! What an insult! But anyway, I was like, you know what? I could start like a new saga. Because well, how the fuck... Oh my god, Trapinch, you are so fucking worthless, dude. What's wrong with you? Don't you dare! You. Oh 
Oh my god, I had to deal with this crap already from Porygon! Ah! Every time, like, I'm playing Platinum right now. Not, not for the channel, by the way. Not the Bowman Shadows Platinum. No, 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 no. Do not see that as a... You fucking piece of shit. Oh my god, you're an idiot. You're stupid! Yes! Finally, stupidity helps me. But anyway, I, I've i been playing Pokemon Platinum. I'll get to the other stuff later, okay? But I, I was playing Pokemon Platinum. And I'm like, you know what? A Pokemon is that I would like to use. Like, I, initially I was gonna do a playthrough with like a Dust Noir on my team. Like, replace Electivire with Dust Noir on the main team that I always... That I like to use in uh, Sinnoh, which is not the main team that you see in the playthrough. Because it starts with a Torterra. Not an Infernape. But then later on, I was like, you know, I could go for Porygon Z, actually. Because, you know, that's a Pokemon that basically always get forgotten about. Because you don't see Porygon Z in the anime, because Porygon's banned, because Pikachu is a cunt. You have a good f feel for this. Keep it up over your next three opponents. Oh, this pre-gym is where we get... Hi, brava. I can feel it in my cock. Noise because noise is outside and she always has the yell and that's the one thing that truly annoys me about her. I mean, next one is to see how good you are. I love the fucking dog. I do. I truly do. Like a child of mine, but still. But anyway, my Porygon... My Porygon was so shit, actually. Which doesn't have anything to do with its nature. It was just shit. Then I was immediately like, alright, we're upgrading this fucker. Alright, in, in the Eterna building, you find an upgrade. We're immediately like... I did like three trainers that was like, you're evolving. <laughs> you're evolving. I don't care. I will evolve you immediately. But Porygon 2, each time that fucking thing gets confused, it hurts itself in its own confusion and makes me mad. Makes me upset, people. But I do like using it, actually. However, I'm still kind of confused on who I'm going to give Thunderbolt to. Because Magmortar can learn it. You better not fucking level up in this ba- You won't level up. But Mac Mortar can learn Thunderbolt, and that's the one that I like to give the TM for Thunderbolt to. You fucking piece of goddamn garbage. However, Porygon Z can also learn it, because that's kind of why I chose Porygon Z, because Porygon Z could be like the a new electric type that I have. I'll do this. Yeah, like, it's the perfect Electivire replacement. And to be honest, I kind of want to see what Porygon Z is like. Can't yet, because I'm only at the gym number six. I'm about to pick up my final team member, the Lucario. Because I gotta have a Steel type. Lucario is awesome. But I'm about to pick up the egg, because I used the Togepi egg. I put the Togepi egg in my party in order to, uh... I think I'm smart, but I don't know if I'm actually smart. Wonderful fucking job, you! Absolutely. Are you stupid? You. F ah. uh, nobody has swift around here or something like that. Oh, your faint attack. So even if Flare fucks up, which Flare doesn't. Oh. Get the Pokemon. Yes, I can. I, I can't really be found in the world. The fucking uh, Argos is over. Yeah. In the Safari Zone. But yeah, but I don't know if the Lucar the Riolu egg that you get is like predetermined. However. I have put the Togepi egg on my team. Evolution! In order to get in order to reject the Riolu egg, because the only way to reject the Riolu egg is to have a full team. Otherwise you have to accept it. So I rejected it, then went back to Catalave. Put the egg in the PC, then we're, but now I'm on the way back to him in order to get the egg in order to reset for the for the right nature. Because I think when you get an egg, Fire Brava! This is why I fucking left you as a well, why why I left you as a uh fuck brain work. Also, before this started, you got you saw a couple of scenes. I just remembered that. Oh, I did, I can't forget. Extra XD scenes. I should write that down so I do not forget. 
But I had some extra seeds recorded because while I did this shit, I had the bonsai crap happen. And I had the munchlax stuff. Which I don't remember if munchlax happened, but I ain't gonna go through 45 parts just to figure that out. I've gotta train a lot more. Yes, you do. But I don't know if the nature is like that's guaranteed with Riolu. So I'm gonna reset for like at least a neutral nature. Because Riolu is shit. Absolute garbage. In that sense that it learns only physical attacks. And I kind of want a Lucario that is learned special attacks. With my furtive ever shifting attacks, I shall claim Vic. No, you won't. There's Force Bomb. Do you learn Drain Plunge? The Draining Fist is something you can learn. Good. Because no one else can learn it. So I'll drop it onto you. It's uh, about as powerful as Force Bomb, but it heals you. And I want to use you against uh, Bryson. Byron. Not Bryson. That was the ice one in the universe. Oh, crap. Now you're still a part of that. Uh, boy. But well, at least we have uh, some defense against the water type. The eighth one. Anyway, back to the big news. Because I think maybe around October, maybe later. You fucking. Eh, works out anyway. But. Uh, maybe early next year or around October, November, or December. I would say the, la the last three months of this year and the first two months of next year are going to be. Is, oh wait. Is when we're gonna start. Well, I'm gonna start a new saga on Z Channel. You couldn't have paralyzed the fucking thing, gotcha. But I'm gonna start a new saga on the show. And that saga will be called the GTA Saga. Well, it, the saga is called The Road to GTA 6. And that saga will actually happen. Because I've already recorded four fucking games! Yeah, four games are gonna have post commentary. Because initially I was gonna do GTA 3, well, GTA Vice City first. Then San Andreas. And then GTA 3, then 4, and it's uh, and then the episodes from Liberty City, and then 5. That was how the saga was gonna go. Because there are two games that I could add to this, but one of them I can't play anymore. Or couldn't play anymore. Because this was something that I was searching for. Because I think later on, I will say that, oh, the next game is going to be, like, after Deadlocked, I think I, I'll say, like, oh, the next game is going to be Ratchet & Clank Size Matters. No, it fucking isn't. No, fuck it is. <laughs> it is not Size Matters. You can fuck off. Yeah, pretty cool. But, anyway... It's not gonna be Ratchet Clank Size Matters, because I downloaded an emulator in order to play it. I also have to sneeze, so I'll mute for a second. How the fuck are you alive? Ah, damn it! Sneeze went away. Sick. This thing only no double team, you're just being a cunt. Do you have a permit to be a cunt? Fuck's wrong with you? Goodness, you should go through all the channels in order to get a permit to be a cunt. A double teaming fuck. God, I hate those people there. They just spam double team. Fuck you. Why my Brava is king. Queen. Anyway, but those games were the stories games. Vice City Stories, Liberty City Stories. But anyway, when I did... I shouldn't have said that. Since I was supposed to be later in the conversation. But because he kept double teaming, I got annoyed. I forgot what I was saying. Anyway, I was going to do Size Matters. Which, you know, I... I'm not gonna do anymore, because the emulator does not understand how to move in a fucking circle. It only knows how to move forward, back, left, and right, because I am playing on mouse and keyboard. I need to watch closely, I'll treat you to elegant attacks that blend the power of Pokemon. But anyway, I need to play with a controller, okay? Yes, I'm one of those controller people. But the controller, it doesn't fully register that, so I can't play those games. So GTA, Vice City Stories, Liberty City Stories were not going to be played. Because I, my Vice City Stories was the one that was unplayable, basically. Where, you know, if I play the beginning, it crashes. And I know exactly. I, I had the moment when it crashes, normally, on my, uh... uh for, 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 for fuck's sake. You fuck. You! you. Types and I, my ground type can't do fucking anything. Pointless. 
But anyway, I had played GTA Vice City Stories like the last time I did. I still had that save on my uh, PlayStation 2. When it crashes, I... But I was like, you know what? I'm gonna buy a new disc, you know? I mean, when I did that for... This is the problem that I have. I have a bad luck with GTA San Andreas, because I will be playing the definitive edition of the game, not the original PlayStation 3 versions, because I can't play San Andreas. Because I bought three copies from different places after my first one fucked up. Are you still being a fucking double-teaming cunt? Well, luckily enough for me, Vibrava is queen of the team. Also, Vibrava, you're about to level up again. Uh, which battle is this? Because uh, Vibrava will be level 56 by the time I'm done with this shit. Holy crap. Well, is there, like, another one after this? Please tell me there isn't another one after this. Aye. Tell me after this we have a little bit of a break where we can adjust the team spaces. They're dead next turn anyway. Absol actually appeared and this fucker keeps double teaming. Disaster was indeed looming. <laughs> but I was like, alright, you know what? Because uh, in San Andreas, I can't play that game on PlayStation 2 anymore. Because for some reason the disc just breaks after like a, at a certain point. So I was like, I, I was too scared to buy a, a new disc for GTA Limit, uh, Vice City Stories. And the thing is, is that I didn't have to be. Because I bought a new disc, I was like, you know what, fine, I'll fork over the 30 euros, buy a new, uh, buy a used. Just is next, and he's very, very strong. Please tell me I can kind of save. Because that's the problem also, we are still dealing with the garbage. Great job, the hero of FedEx gets it done. I don't see any blind spots in your battle style. I finally get the chance to face you. Shall we battle right away? No, please. Okay, too bad. I hope you... What did I just do? Did I fuck up? First of all, you take that shit off. Did I fuck up? <laughs> oh my god, no. Don't tell me I fucked up. Can I fight you? Please. Save the game because I uh, the, the 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 GameCube will still fuck up. Holy crap! Twenty minutes later. Yes, great. Let's do it. Let's... Yes, yes. Oh, thank God, Rusty. Oh, Justy, Rusty. <laughs> Are you ready? Here we come. I just needed a, a different Pokemon up in the front slot because Vibrava happened. Da -da -da. Speaking of music, which I'm just doing right now, uh, Starset released a new song last week, and I have been listening to that banger. Brave New World is what that song is called, and it is a fucking banger. Listen to it. Man, it com it Oh my god, this is the perfect theme. I didn't even know. Anyway, listen to it. It blends like Starset's normal sound with metalcore and even a little bit of dubstep in there. It is perfection. And then it comes to someone who hates the Recharge album that Linkin Park did. That kind of shit I don't like. But I love this because it's just like it's just like little bits of dubstep and like towards the end during like the breakdown of the song. It's just like, yes! So good! Man, that song is so good. It is metalcore as well. That does not mean that the whole song screams, but after the first chorus, there is a screaming part towards the second chorus. So it's like, you got like singing, chorus, screams, chorus, and then bridge breakdown, which is also screaming, by the way, the breakdown is screaming. And then we have like the final chorus and then the song is done. But the song is absolutely beautiful. It is like a eh. first of all it reminded me of the Bring Me the Horizon song Kool-Aid. So if you're a fan of Bring Me the Horizon's Kool-Aid song, which I would also recommend you listen to, which is also a banger. Um Yeah. You're gonna love the Star Set news a new single. Man, I can't wait for the fifth album. Is this it? This is what it's gonna sound like. Mwah, perfection is gonna achieve for 
Fuck. No, I was supposed to mute. I didn't mute. My mouse was too far away from the mute. I'm sorry for the cough. I'm trying to re reformat my brain, don't worry about it. But yeah, like I said, that song is fantastic. Back to GTA anyway. So I uh, played and beat GTA 3 and G well, Vice City and 3. Well, 3 and Vice City. I did it in order. 3 and Vice City. And uh, yeah, I will say this. I'm just going to be honest here. I have never beaten those games. I will say this. I have never beaten GTA 3. And I thought I had beaten GTA Vice City until 10 years ago. About like 11, I guess, years ago. From a YouTube channel that is dead, sadly enough. Not a YouTuber. Well, at least I don't think so. I knew it, you are tough. I'm not happy about losing, but I'm delighted about battling you. It's been five years since I lost like this. I like you to have these as something to remember our battle by. Lumberry and TM32. You fucking. I hope you use them. I'm sure, they will be out. They will help you. Yeah, one of them will. Battling you is, was a very meaningful experience for me. I'm sure I'll be looking back on our battle and rel relishing its memory for some time. Thank you. Don't worry, Justy. 